Hello ka wow, much ang i-discuss natin ngayon ay tungkol sa how to evaluate functions. Evaluating a function means replacing the variables in the function. In this case, the variable x with a value from the functions, the domain in computing for the result. To denote that we are evaluating f at a for some a in the domain of f, we write f of a. Okay, replacing or substituting, that is how to evaluate function. Evaluate the following function at x is equal to 1.5. So, the value of x is 1.5. So, ang gagamitin natin na value ng x is 1.5. So, siya yung ipapalit natin sa lahat ng x sa given function. First, function. f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. So, nandito yung x natin, papalitan natin siya ng 1.5. So, paano ba natin papalitan? At anong operation ang gagamitin? So, kapag papalitan natin yung x, nilalagyan natin ng open and close parenthesis. Okay, para makita natin na chinase natin yung variable na x. Pinalitan natin yung variable na x. Papalitan natin ng 1.5. So, kapag ganito, ibig sabihin, imumultiply natin. 2 times 1.5 plus 1, 2 times 1.5 is 3 plus 1, so therefore, the answer is 4. So, ganyan lang pag nag evaluate ng function. Pinapalitan lang natin yung variable. Depende sa given variable. Like for example, uh, y. Oh, hindi lang lagi naman x yung ginagamit. The second function, we have q of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2. Again, how to evaluate function? Replacing the variable x. So, hindi lang yung unang x ang papalitan natin. Lahat ng x ay papalitan ng 2. Anong ipapalit natin sa x? 2. So, papalitan natin yung x ng 2. So, that will become 2 squared. Dito naman, papalitan natin ng 2. So, ito na lang ngayon. 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 2. Perform the operation. So, 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 2. So, 4 minus 4 is 0 plus 2. The answer is 2. Okay, medyo madali lang, di ba? Papalitan lang natin yung variable and then perform the operation. Ganyan lang mag-evaluate ng function. Another, g of x is equal to the square root of x plus 1. Evaluate the function. So, of course, unang gagawin, Papalitan natin yung x ng 1.5. Then, perform the operation. So, 1.5 plus 1, that is the square root of 2.5. So, kahit yan na, yan na yung sagot natin. Square root of 2.5. Another example. R of x is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. Evaluate the function. So, ang unang ulit na gagawin, papalitan natin ng x ng 1.5. So, magiging 2 times 1.5 plus 1 all over 1.5 minus 1. 2 times 1.5 is 3 plus 1, that is 4. 1.5 minus 1, that is 0 
and 4 divide 0 0.5, the answer is A. Okay? Your R of X is equal to A. Another. Oh, your X now is 3X minus 1. Binomial. Evaluate the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Again, yung x natin, papalitan natin ng 3x minus 1. So, ilalagay natin yan. Ngayon, so ang gagawin natin, yung 2, i-distribute natin sa loob ng parenthesis. So, we need to multiply 2 times 3x, that is 6x, 2 times minus 1. Uh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 1. And then, perform the operation. So, copy 6x. Bakit ko kopyahin lang natin? Dahil wala naman siyang kasama. So, copy 6x. So, si negative 2 plus 1, we need to add. Pareho silang, pareho silang constant. So, negative 2 plus 1 using addition of integers. So, the answer is negative 1. So, this is now the final answer, 6x minus 1. Number 6, q of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2. Anong ipapalit natin kay x? 2x plus 3. So, medyo mahaba to kasi trinomial, no? So, 2x plus 3 squared minus 2 times 2x plus 3 plus 2. So, ito muna yung gagawin natin. This example is a square of binomial. So, pwede nyo gamitan ng FOIL method. So, ang unang gagawin dyan, we need to multiply first the... Uh, First term twice. So, magiging 2x, 2x times 2x, that is 4x squared. Tapos yung middle term niya magiging, i-multiply natin yung first and last term, multiply it by 2. 2x times 3, 6x times 2, 12x. And then the last term, 3 times 3, that is 9. Dito naman, negative 2 times 2x, negative 4x. Negative 2 times 3, negative 6, plus 2. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? So, combine similar terms. So, anin ba dyan dapat ang mauna? So, inaayos natin base sa pinakamataas na exponent. So, ang mauna ay ito. Meron ba siyang kasama dyan? Wala. So, copy 4x squared. So, ito, magkasama si 12x, saka si negative 4x. Si 9 naman, saka si negative 6, saka si positive 2. So, again, copy natin si 4x squared since wala siyang kasama. But yung 12x, saka yung negative 4x, we need to combine. So, positive 12x minus 4x, that is positive 8x. Yung tatlong constant, yung positive 9, Negative 6 sa positive 2, kailangan din natin i-combine. So, 9 minus 6 plus 2, the answer is 5. So, therefore, the final answer is 4x squared plus 8x plus 5. Find g of negative 4 and r of positive 1, where G and R is defined below. Okay, if that is your function, given function, so, sa G of X, papalitan natin ang X ng negative 4. Sa R of X, itong X natin, papalitan natin ng 1. So, do you think may evaluate natin yung function? Hindi. Bakit? Magiging negative 4. Ang sagot dito magiging square root of negative 3. So, bawal tayo magkaroon ng negative sa loob ng square root. Okay? Dito naman, 
Kapag sinabitute natin yung 1 sa r of x dito sa x niya, so magiging 0 yung denominator natin. Magiging undefined naman yung sagot nyo. So the answer is, this is not possible because negative 4 is not in the domain of g of x and 1 is not in the domain of r of x. Okay, so hindi sila pwedeng ma-evaluate. Okay, more example tayo. Evaluate the following function at x is equal to 3. First, f of x is equal to x minus 3. I'll give you one second. So the answer is 0. Correct. Next, g of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 5. What will be the answer? If x is 3, 5 seconds for that. So the answer is positive 5. Another, h of x is equal to the cube root of x cubed plus x plus 3. Your 5 seconds starts now. So what is the answer? The answer is cube root of 33. More example, p of x is equal to x squared plus 1 over x minus 4. I'll give you 5 seconds for that. So the answer is negative 10. Correct. Okay, another. For what values of x can we not evaluate the function f of x is equal to x plus 3 all over x squared minus 4? So ano daw yung value ng x na hindi natin pwede i-evaluate ang function na to? So anong magiging value ng x na hindi natin ma-evaluate yung function na yan? Of course, yung hindi kasama sa domain niya. So, anong titignan natin? Yung nasa baba, yung denominator natin. So, dapat hindi to mag-0. Since we have x squared minus 4, so therefore, all set of all real numbers, but yung x natin ay di pwede sa positive 2 and negative 2. So, yan ang value ng x. Hindi mo ma-evaluate ang function na to kapag yung x is positive 2 and negative 2. Since 2 and negative 2 are not in the domain, we cannot evaluate the function at x is equal to negative 2 and positive 2. Evaluate the function a plus b where the function x is equal to 4x squared minus 3x. Kagaya kanina, palitan natin yung mga x natin. 4 times a plus b squared minus 3 times a plus b. So, ito muna yung una nyong gagawin. Yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Squared nyo muna yung a plus b, saka nyo i-multiply kay 4. So, kapag in-squared natin yung a plus b, that is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, Minus 3a, 3 times a, times negative, 3 times b is negative 3b. So, saka natin to i-distribute isa-isa. So, that will become 4a squared minus, okay, oh, that's net, oh, by the way, that's plus, no? That is plus 8ab. So, again, so, that will become 4a squared plus 8ab plus 4b squared minus 3a minus 3b. So, dapat mauna dyan yung highest exponent natin. So, therefore, that will be 4a squared minus 3a plus 8ab minus 3b plus 4b squared. So, that will be the arrangement of your final answer. I hope na may natutunan kayo. So, thank you so much.
again thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe to our Walmart channel.